So to explain the explicit Euler, or the implicit Euler me method, let's just look at the explicit Euler method uh, and then compare it. So the explicit Euler method was yi plus 1 equals yi plus uh, some, some estimate of, of the derivative. And again, uh, this estimate of the derivative uh, or, or the slope was supposed to be a representative estimate over the interval. Uh, and so it wasn't necessarily the slope at, at yi or, or yi plus 1, but a representative slope over the interval. Um, and so it helps because what, to, to realize that because we can look at this and we can say, oh, well, so we chose in Euler's method to use the slope at the point yi. Well, we could just have easily have chose, and, and that was the representative slope for the interval. Well, we could just have easily have chose the slope at xi plus 1, uh, yi plus 1, um, for uh, for estimating uh, estimating the slope there and and again both of these are multiplied that by h and this is an implicit formula uh, this is implicit Euler method Euler's method it's, it's the same exact idea we're still just using one point and we're moving but uh, we see this yi plus one appears on this side of the equation and it also appears on this side of the equation and this is why this is why it's an implicit method. I just want to show one one more thing before I finish the the video on implicit Euler's method. I just want to show you uh, give get a little bit of a visualization of this. So the slope uh, f x x y uh, x i y i. So if this if this um, this uh, yellow line is the solution, which which we wouldn't know, um, but if this is the slope of f of x i y i, and this is the slope of x i minus one, uh, plus one and y i plus one, uh, we can see that those uh, those slopes may di may be different, and and one slope versus the other may be uh, more or less representative for the interval. And so, uh, the nice thing about Euler's uh, the the implicit Euler's method is that it is it is unconditionally stable in some circumstances, so it, it the stability doesn't uh, depend on the step size h.